I'm Jimmy Harris with Unicoi Outfitters. We're here on the Upper Chattahoochee River in North Georgia. And what I want to show you today, the tip I want to show you is a little bit contrary to what most fly fishermen have heard and learned most of their fly fishing career, and that is getting a drag-free drift. Now that's perfect if you want to fish on top or if you're fishing in slower water. But if you want to fish in a deep, fast run, water's real fast on top, but down very close to the bottom, there's a layer called the boundary layer, and the water is barely moving there. So if you get what appears to be a drag-free drift with your strike indicator, the fly on the very bottom of the river is moving much faster than that water is where the trout are holding. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna show you how to rig this up to get it down into that boundary layer and slow the fly down a little bit. We've got a weighted fly, we've got a bead head dropper, and we've got a nice big piece of split shot right here to get that fly down. And then we're fishing all of this under an indicator. Now remember, the indicator does not have to drift at the same speed as the current. If it drifts a little bit slower, ticking the bottom every now and then, you're gonna catch more fish because that's where the fish are and you gotta get it in their zone. This is a perfect run for demonstrating how you need to get your fly down in that slow zone on the bottom. This is about a six foot deep run. My indicator's on the surface. Throw an upstream mend in it. Slow your drift down. Oh, wow. That's a wild one. There's a bigger fish traveling behind him, trying to rub me off on the rocks. Come out of there. That's what we like. Show off if you want to. There we go. Nice 14 or 15 inch uh, rainbow taken by dredging the very bottom of a deep run, a deep fast run with a split shot and a weighted fly and a slower than a drag free drift. Lots of fun. See you later, buddy.